Hey guys, welcome to another episode of On This Day in History. It is November 11th, 2021. Uh, we've got quite a bit of spectacular events that took place on this day in history. Uh, we'll save the best for last, and as usual, we'll start with any birthdays. The only notable birthday that we do have today is Leonardo DiCaprio. He is an American actor and producer. He was born today, November the 11th. He turns uh, 46 years old. He was born in 1974 in Los Angeles, California. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into the events today. Uh, in 2004, Yasir Arafat, who was president between 1996 and 2004 of the Palestinian Authority, chairman between 1969 and 2004 of the Palestine Liberation Organization, the PLO, and leader of the Fair Fatah of the largest of the constitute PLO groups passed away in Paris. In 1992, the Church of England voted to ordain women as priests, the first ordination took place two years later. In 1975, Anglo declared its independence after the Portuguese withdrew. In 1966, the Gemini 12, the last spacecraft in the Gemini series and the first to make an automatically controlled re-entry into Earth's atmosphere was launched. In 1920, Armistice Day, the anniversary of the end of World War I, was marked with the burial of unknown soldiers and tombs in Paris and London, and a similar ceremony was held at Arlington National Cemetery, Virginia, in 1921. In 1889, Washington was admitted to the Union as the 42nd U.S. state. In 1880, Australian outlaw Ned Kelly, who was the most famous of the Bush Rangers, was hanged in Melbourne. In 1872, American actress Maud Adams, who was best known for her portrayal as James Barry's heroines, and who also played Joan of Arc, as well as Shakespearean roles of Juliet, Viola, and Rosalind was born in 1865 for her work as a surgeon during the American Civil War. Physician Mary Edwards Walker became the first woman to be granted the U.S. Medal of Honor. The award was rescinded in 1917, but reinstated in 1977. Uh, talk about a battle to obtain something that was rightfully yours. I'm sure she was long passed away, so I mean, congratulations on giving it back to her. You should have never took it away from her in the first place. But in 1831, enslaved black American Nat Turner was hanged after leading a slave rebellion that resulted in the deaths of some 60 white people. In addition, many innocent enslaved people were massacred in the accompany hysteria. It's a tragic event all around. In 1813, British troops under control of Colonel J.W. Morrison defeated U.S. forces led by General John Boyd at the Battle of Chrysler's Farm during the War of 1812. In 1778, during the American Revolution, Icarus, in direct retaliation, for colonial assaults on two Indian village, attacked a New York frontier settlement in the Cherry Valley Raid. In 1493, Christopher Columbus sighted the island of St. Martin. In 1417, Martin V was unanimously elected the Pope, bringing an end to the Great Schism. And then the featured event for today, uh, if you didn't kind of get clues from it during the reading, it is that at 5 a.m. on this day, November the 11th in 1918, the Allied Powers and Germany signed a treaty 
in the railway in the railway carriage of Ferdinand Falch, the commander of the Allied armies, and six hours later, World War One officially came to an end. And there you guys have it. Uh, November the 11th, 2021. Those are your historical facts for today. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, uh, leave any comments. And if there's any other videos that you guys would like to see me do, please let me know. Right now we're contemplating whether or not if we want to do uh, kind of like murder mysteries, you know, going over serial killers, the life that they lived, the crimes that they committed, um, or just kind of other things like that. So if you guys would like to see them, be sure to like, share, comment. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, like and subscribe, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Thank you guys for checking us out.